Well, hello, folks. Jesse here from southwestern Wisconsin. It's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but as you can see, we're getting some rain, so uh, I got a break at work. We have had, we got 10 inches last night. So far, we've got another two and a half inches today. Some major flooding. We got a stave here that's been drying for about two years. It's a nice uh, straight piece of bitter nut hickory. We're going to be turning into a longbow here. I'm sure all of you have heard of King David uh, from Bible times who famously uh, fought Goliath the giant and was victorious. Um, well, you know, he went on to become a great king and uh, was called a man after God's own heart. But it's interesting, David, uh, in all his victories, he was a man of war. He was a, a leader of the people of Israel. He was a king. And his skill, his talents that God had given him were for warfare. And he used those for God's glory and to free the people of Israel from their oppressors. And interesting that David said that he would bless the Lord who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. It's interesting that every talent that God has given us are just that, they're God-given. There is nothing that, as I work on creating this bow, there's nothing that I can claim that comes from me. Every talent that I have, every ability that we have, uh, is God given. And so I just want to say that right now that, you know, praise God for talents and abilities that He's given us because we're created in His image. In the beginning, God, when God created man, He said, Let us make man in our image. And God is a creative God, He's creative. We look around us at the world, the beautiful world that we live in. And we see all creation, we see God's creative hand at work. And it's because of His creativity and the fact that we're made in His image that we are can be creative and can make beautiful things, things that are practical and that help us help our lives easier, help us supply and provide food, as people have done for thousands of years with this rude, crude stick and a string um, known as the bow and arrow that's that's a, a gift that God has given to man and so is every other creative thing that we can do and so praise the Lord for that so I'm just working on roughing out the stave at this time uh, I've drawn a rough uh, outline of my bow found true center and and things so there's a lot of good tutorials out there um, if you're interested in making your own, I won't go into super great detail. I'm just kind of going over. Um, I'll just kind of show you the, the quick and uh, overview of the making of the bow. But there's uh, a lot of good information out there if you're interested in making your own. So here's the roughed out bow, and it's uh, very roughly roughed out, as you can see. Um, but uh, making progress. We will be spending a lot of time getting this down to the correct weight and cutting in our arrow shelf. And I'm, I'm planning on backing it with rawhide for strength and uh, durability. <clears throat> so that's going to take some time and I'll probably do that in later videos but uh, just want to remind you that we are all 
creations of God. Uh, he has created each one of us. And people wonder, you know, why we're here and what's our purpose. You know, everybody's looking for purpose in life. And uh, I'd just like to encourage you that God's Word, the Bible, tells us what is what is our purpose here and why we're, why God created us in the first place. And that's uh, for His glory and uh, to bring glory to His name. That's why He made us. And it's only because of our pride and our rebellion and sin that, that we don't do that. And, uh, you know, first of all, we've got to put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, um, His Son, who made a way for us to to truly glorify God as He intended. Um, you know, because of His righteousness, we can be righteous and and have access to God and and to be able to live our white lives in a way that glorify Him. 